the third installment of an uh, art show that we call the Lex Flux. It's a show that kind of captures the uh, 80s arcade experience that we uh, grew up with and puts our flavor on it. And uh, it's a collaboration with another artist named Bass that we've been collaborating with for about uh, 12 years. First time we did the show was in London. And it, again, sort of started from trying to build this environment and it kind of went through these found objects to, uh, to pinball to, to an actual you know, video arcade. And um, it really encompasses not only the, the experience of you know, being in the space itself and really trying to transform that, but also you know, treating the arcade cabinets as a sort of painted surface sculpture. Um, the, the video uh, experience, so we redo all the, all the actual uh, video games themselves, the sound, every sort of element is, uh, is, is taken and sort of put through our artwork. It's kind of like the paintings, like the outsides aren't really necessarily built uh, for the games like a Pac-Man game, having a Pac-Man logo on the outside. We really treat them like uh, more like sculptural art. So the, the, the cabinets are kind of built on their own as like a piece, and then the games get introduced to them later. This is our first time down at Art Basel, so, um, and, and we're not regulars to Miami either. I think one thing that was really important was that this felt like it sort of popped up out of the middle of um, all the sort of uh, souvenir and head shops and all these kind of things down there. It's, um, I think for us, it's a bit of an extension of what we did early on with street art and these kind of ideas of, you know, something's there one minute and it's gone the next and really being a part of the environment and the space. You know, it's right on Washington uh, Avenue down there, which is filled with neon and these kind of seedy little shops. And uh, yeah, so we found, we went down, we found this space that needs a little love and, and we'll, we'll fully transform it into, you know, sort of this crazy art arcade experience.